Hello students, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to discuss important points which we covered an exercise of chapter 11 work and energy. Note these important points which we covered in our last class. When an object is displaced by applying a force on it, work is said to be done. The capacity to do work is called energy. The energy used for doing mechanical work is called mechanical energy. There are two types of mechanical energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. The energy which is stored in an object due to a specific state or position of that object is called potential energy. The energy obtained from motion is called kinetic energy. Sun is the natural source of heat energy and light energy. The energy obtained through chemical action is called chemical energy. The energy resources are of two types. Conventional energy resources or non-renewable energy resources. And non-conventional energy resources or renewable energy resources. The energy resources which we cannot use after using it once are called conventional or non-renewable energy resources. The energy resources which are inexhaustible, continuous and can be used in various forms again and again are called non-conventional or renewable energy resources. The energy obtained from the sun is called solar energy. The energy which is obtained from the motion of the wind is called wind energy. The energy obtained from the rise and fall of tides is called tidal energy. When the water stored in a dams at a height is brought down through a tunnel and the turbines of the generator are rotated to produce electricity is called hydroelectric or hadal power. While sea waves move forward in a certain direction, the water moves up and down regularly at a position, this, too, can be used to generate electricity. The nucleus of heavy elements such as uranium or thorium, splits into two or more nuclei. This process is called nuclear fission. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.